Good morning everyone, this is Trafalgar Valentine. How's it going today? Today I want to continue my uh, Morris Minus, well, my Morris series of cool cars. It's like a poster design, so I've done my first one here yesterday. Minor Series MM, which turned out pretty nice, a nice cool like, cherry red colour. Now we'll do the Morris 6, which is from 1948 to 1953. The next uh, Morrison series. I'm doing a light sketch just to start with a few basic shapes, but then I'll get into it. Let's just zoom in. Okay, so what to start with first? Maybe let's do maybe let's do a bit of colour first. Now this one on my reference for is green. Here's my little reference photo. This is the car I'm doing here. So I did yesterday. So, but it's, although it's green, I'm just going to alter those shadows to create a yellow colour. Chrome strip just coming down, so I'm just using the pencil there not to go any further. I'm using very thin paper for this, 60 GSM A3. So it's very very thin, so the markers bleed very easily, but you just got to be very careful about how much you put down at once. Okay, so if I just, in, uh, just a really pale yellow Copic mark on there, it's turned out really nice. It's got a nice colour combination going here with the dark shadows around the surface of the car. And there need to be a few tweaking here and there, but it's good for the start bit of it anyway. I want to emphasize some of these more crucial elements of the car just because it's starting to get a bit blurry. I need to pull the car forward and get myself more on track. So I'm just going to do the headlights. 
it's my 0.05 pen for this because these are very very thin and this is not very big at all this picture is no just 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters across so it's very very small so we'll just do that circle edge I might leave a little dot just that just to thin out the line width at the top Sorry. Put some blurry edges. Just take it easy with the biro, it can be a bit unpredictable how much junk's gonna come out, so she uses cheap kind. vertical lines okay so I've added the front grille and a little bit of the bumper there now I've done the bottom line of the bumper now the top line of the bumper because I don't want it to be in black but I want it to be in colour I'm going to do with the dark uh, with an orange which is a dark version of yellow, or well, yellow with a bit of red in it anyway. Like so. Okay, split into four small sections at the top. Note this one, the side is a little bit thinner just because it's further away. This one is being brought down a little bit, I've just noticed, comes to just above these lights. I don't erase the whole picture all together. Leave do it in sections just so I don't get too lost with the picture because the, the rough sketch beforehand was the <clears throat> the first drawing. Okay, now I'm just re-sketching in this pencil.
Okay, so I'm just applying a few dark shadows here and there. It's kind of difficult to have a straight procedure to each draw each one because some things that will recognize that will make the picture a lot better and stuff I don't really see straight away and it takes like a variety of different techniques just to try it so I might do a bit of black here a bit of orange here it's like I want you to create like a horizon line across here sort of where the darkest part of the furthest away moment is so I've just done this thin orange line then I'm kept it important just on this highlight of the edge of the light here so the darkness comes there round round comes down across and maybe let's do dots across there across here there 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 so that's a nice gradual line So I've done a bit of grey shadows here and there, do a bit more on the windscreen, different kind of blues and different greens just to emphasize the background. I need to darken it up just a little bit. Now when I've got these very very small areas and with Copic markers, I just want to detail it a little bit with the fine liner pens. So for this green I'm just going to do a bit more of a darker top edge. Because it's curved round, like so, that's why I'm going to try and bring this down here. And then that same line across. Let's do the same with the blue. I don't quite like the way it is, so I'm not going to do too much. Just do a little bit on top of the lights. Just add a bit of darkness. What's good about the biro effect now is that it brings out like a feathering kind of technique so you can really get like some nice gradation tones with it so for instance just on this corner bit here I'm trying to pull this shadow into the left a bit Okay, so I've just done a bit of grey shadow there with the biro. I like how um, I've just put it behind this front fender just to pull it out a bit more. 
and try to carry the shadow across. This is looking a bit pale on the top, and not really popping out very much. So what we're going to do, let's just bring a bit of orange just around this edge. I wonder if I put a blue line across this chrome strip, I might pull it out a bit more. I'm just going to do a bit of shadow just underneath it. This will do, but let's figure it out. Okay, I just want to darken up some of the edges of these wheels up as well and you can see I've just done a bit more orange shadow just around a few other areas. I think my favourite bit is actually this. It actually looks like a really nice sunset mountain on the side of it. I think that's really turned out nicely. Uh, The only problem about creating pictures about like this is the amount of bloody pens and tools and stuff scattered all over the place. Okay, um minus so this is called six. Okay, now that I've just done that, I was just waiting for, really for the ink to dry, so I'm going to apply a few highlights here and there. 
with my trusty little gel pen. I don't want to do too much of this, so I'll leave it to myself like just Okay, what's good is um, if you do the different colours on the different surface, but it's still the same surface and you won't kind of use that to reflect it. As you can see here, I've just put, this was separated by the darkness on these corners, dark green, light green, blue, and this created like a different sections. But because it was made of one shape, I just pulled the white across it, and that's created like this one shape. Which is something I learned and progressively. It's nice when you can learn things when you're self-taught and you can actually see change. Okay, I think I'll leave it like that, but this is be my Morris 6 drawing. And, uh, well, thank you very much, everyone, for watching.